Hello everybody, Coldblood FDW here. Been getting a lot of uh, requests to show or make a video on how to rank up really fast. So I'm gonna start making some videos on that. Maybe I'll make a playlist of it if I make enough of these. Um, there's probably just certain ones you should stick to, but I got at least three good ways on how to rank up fast. And this is one of the best ones. So we're gonna get into that right now. I'm gonna show you the gobble gum set that you're gonna, or should use, I would say. You, it, you can vary it up. It doesn't need to be exactly. Highly suggest using wall power, alchemical, and anywhere but here. Those three are almost a must. Um, you're gonna need those. Other than that, you can switch up the other two however you want to help you. Yeah, I use insta-kill, fatal contraption. Those help on the later rounds because you really, the zombies come at you so quick, like you don't even have a chance to reload, but we'll get into that later on in the video. But anyway, you need to, first of all, the strategy takes place on Verruckt. So if you don't have Zombies Chronicles, you're not gonna be able to do this, unfortunately. Um, and on Verruckt, you're gonna have to start on the Juggernog side. If you're not on the Juggernog side, you're gonna have to use anywhere but here, which is what I, why I told you you need that one on. You're gonna need anywhere but here on, unless you wanna just keep restarting until you get the Juggernog side and you don't care about your average round, which you might wanna do. But if you don't start on the Juggernog side, you're gonna have to use anywhere but here to get through the wall here, basically, um, to start on the other side. Now, it's not a glitch or anything like that. If you were back over by the other wall, I still would have went through this wall. But you can see I use anywhere but here to get through the wall. And now we're magically on the Juggernog side. And you have to be, I must repeat, you you have to be on this side to do the strategy because the area um, that, you, or the area you need to leave closed involves going this way. And you want to be in that area because the spawns spawn the zombies so fast that's kind of what helps you rank up quick. Also, the fact of getting headshots um, combined just rank you up so quick. That's why the strategy is so good. So anyway, you want to basically go turn on the power, grab a KN, and come right back to here where I am when you have enough money. I had enough money by round four, so by round four I would say you have enough money. Um, even if you have to get anywhere but here. Um, and then as soon as you are set up and you got enough money, grab double tap and um, wall power here. And it might take you longer than round five. It took me to round five here to get those two. And then you don't need to go right away, but maybe build up some points. But then you need to make your way over to the ICR, which I'm showing you how to get here. If you save up enough money, you can get Juggernog along the way. And uh, yeah, you can see here I'm showing the ICR. It's just above the Speed Cola room here, actually. If you can't find it, I'm sorry. This is such a small map, you should be able to find it. But the ICR is right over here. It's right behind the, uh, or sorry, it's not right above. It's right above Mule Kick, actually. And in the other room behind me there is actually Speed Cola. So hopefully you can find the ICR. The ICR is literally right behind me as I speak here. So basically that's what you're using your wall power to get is the ICR. Very important you get that gun. I know the HVK is in this room. Not as good. It's not as accurate and it's not as powerful. You need the ICR, and it's just as easy to buy ammo for it. You just gotta come out here. You'll have to grab gobble gums anyway. So, basically, that's how you start the strategy. You're gonna want Speed Cola um, eventually. I would say have that by round 15. You're gonna need that. Um, if I had to suggest a fourth perk, it's uh, Widow's Wine, but you might waste a lot of time getting it, so you may or may not want to get it. I can get 2,000 headshots um, without getting Widow's Wine, but you might need it for help, so you might want to do that. And then you just go past Speed Cola like I show here, and this is where you're going to be chilling. This is, this is the rank up spot, with the door being closed to the right of me going to the power. You have to leave that door closed and come around like I showed you. And then you're just going to sit here and get headshots, everybody. Aim high, get those headshots, because headshots give you more experience points than a regular kill. Nice give you the most, headshots give you the second most, and a regular kill gives you the least. Now you can't go around stabbing, right? So you have to get headshots. So make sure you aim high for those headshots, everybody. That's going to be key to ranking you up very quickly. And I also suggest by round 30, you can see that I come out here. They just get too overpowering in that room by round 30. I'm telling you, you're going to want to come out here. Use Alchemical. If you do use it at the beginning of the round, you will not be able to call that Gobble Gum because they're coming at you too quickly. You'll die. And like, use the Gatling Gun here as much as possible. And yeah, simple as that. Like, you don't have to do exactly what I do here, but something along these lines and in this area is what you could use to rank up very quick. Now, I hope this helps some people rank up. Let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Love my subscribers. Take care, everybody. Have a nice day.